regular chords? Yes, I do. Not because I live in Nashville, not because I moved to Nashville, but because there is one extremely good reason to use the Nashville numbers over chord charts. Now, if you go to your band practice or you print a chart out, and I have one down here, I print it out, and it's all, well, let me just grab it. So I printed out some charts for yesterday, and I think I did numbers. But anyway, this is just chord charts, see? Chord charts with chords. So you go to practice and you're like, oh man, I wanna play this in the key of E. And then you have to rewrite every single chord out, okay? So the Nashville number system writes in numbers. And I thought I had Nashville numbers. It's just one, two, three, four, you know, one, four, five, four. So like, for example, this chart, the D would be one, and then four, and then one, and then five. So that, that's what it would look like if it was in Nashville numbers. And you can still use the same kind of charts. You can just print out the number charts of those. Now, uh, CCLI, Song Select has that function. You can actually just write your numbers over here in rehearsal. But the biggest thing is learning the numbers and then being able to actually play the numbers so you can play in any key. And that's why I think they're better for you know, worship teams for anybody. If you're a beginner, of course, I don't think, I think that the chords are better, like this. So if you're just b very starting out, you, you know, you don't want to get all confused. You want to see the chords. But as you progress, you're going to want to learn the Nashville number system. And that is why in this short video today, I'm going to talk to you about the Play and Sing Music Theory Unlocked for Guitar and Piano ebook. Man, that's a lot of words. Play and Sing TV Music Theory Unlocked. Okay, so if you go to the link in the description, playandsing.tv slash ebooks, okay? So it's part of our uh, play and sing method. We have one for guitar, one for piano, and this one, this one, this one, right over here, I'm really excited about this one. It teaches you the theory of chords, the theory of transposition, the theory of being able to look at songs in patterns. And really, every song is patterns. And that's the other reason I kind of like this, because um, if you look at this pattern in, in Amazing Grace, it's one, four, one, five. Okay, so you have this pattern, one, four, one, five, one, four, one, one, five, one. And it's just gonna repeat that pattern. Okay, now a lot of, a lot of songs are like one, four, six, five. So this is a pattern in most worship songs, one, four, six, five, okay? Or in most popular songs, one, four, five, four, okay? This would be like your verse, okay, one. So, Let's take it a little bit further, and I'm going to talk about more about this and how I write charts in my October-November Worship Leader Foundations thing. And you can find more about that. If you want to know about that, just message me because it's launching in October, in the first week of October. It's going to be all, all live sessions, webinars for worship leaders, and it's going to talk about charting. So if you want to do Amazing Grace, let's say you want to do Amazing Grace with Nashville numbers, you could just do 1454. This would be the verse, and then when you get to the chorus, you could do like, this isn't really the, the song. And then uh, the bridge, you could do 1655. Five. Okay. So imagine in all of this, if you just had this on your stand, and that was something you could memorize very easily, and and you won't have to have all the stuff, the, the lyrics and all that. So you look at songs and patterns, and Nashville Numbers helps you do that as well. So not only can you um, transpose at a moment's notice to any key, not only can you take hard songs that are like in B-flat or E-flat if you're a guitar player, put numbers over them and use a capo, that is money right there. That is money. So you're not going to be playing... Uh, F sharp minors and B flats and E flats and E flat minors, all these on guitar, it's not going to be great. But if you if you change this to numbers and then use your capo, then you can really just see that it's one, four, six, five. So I'm going to stay on here. I got a few more minutes before I have to jump off. I'm going to I'm going to show you an example of a chord progression in like let's say B flat. Okay, so B flat, B the one chord, B C D E E flat. C, D, E, F, G, G minor, and then F, okay? So this, this would be the key of B flat. So if you are a guitar player, and you got a one, four, six, five progression, it would look like that. B flat, E flat, G minor, F. 
And that, that, that's what it would look like. So you're like, oh my goodness, what in the world am I going to do? You know, am I going to have to play, you're going to have to play bar chords on B flat. You're going to have to play bar chords on E flat. You're going to have to play a bar chord on G minor. <laughs> and let me show you this pattern is the one, four, six, five pattern. So if you were to put a capo on and use G chords, you could easily do that. You could say G is one, C is, and then E minor is six, and then D is five. So I'm telling you right now, these two progressions are the same exact pattern. They're one, four, six, five. One, four, six, five. So you can play this song that it looks impossible on the guitar, B flat, E flat, G minor, F. You can play that as G, C, E minor, D. G, C, E minor, D. That's every song. See what I mean? So when you look at a song and it's, it's in the key of B flat, there is an underlying pattern. Underlay, there's a pattern underneath that is just one, four, six, five, or one, four, one, four, one, five, one, five. It's, it's, really, it's really that simple. Now this song, this, this is an ebook and it's available. It's super affordable, it's super easy to get. Uh, just go over to plainsing.tv slash ebooks. I talk about all of this in detail, give you all the charts, the cheat sheets, really, so you can look across and see all the patterns and go, oh, these patterns are the same. This is going to change the way you look at music, period. Uh, is the national number system better? Yes, because it's the system that is underneath. Now, it's not Nashville. Okay, it's not that. That's just, I think that was taken from the classical number. Obviously, it was taken from the older classical number system, but it was. it is called the national number system because that's what all the guys do in the studios, and it became popular, at least in this region. But... It is not, it was not created by the guys in Nashville. They created some shorthand, I guess, but the number system, uh, when I studied music theory in college way back and way before, you know, it was like, this is the, the classical number system, like Mozart, he was doing this. He was, he was looking at ones and fours and fives and he was, he was talking and thinking about that all the way back in the very beginning of music, okay? So it's not just, it's not like this new trendy thing that the Nashville guys made up. They just created a little bit more of a modern way to write it, but the, the music theory that you're gonna learn in this book is it's like real music theory from way back all the way through, showing you how patterns run through music. So, hey, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Go to worshipthekeng.com if you want to um, join the Worship Leadership Foundations. It starts in October. It's gonna be podcasts, webinars, exclusive live webinars, and live YouTube sessions. So you can get some of it just by being on the channel. Subscribe to the channel. And then if you want to join the exclusive group that's going to get some extra like webinars and charts and all the real like in-depth, real in-depth stuff. If you're that nerdy, join me at uh, worshipwithking.com. Send, send me a message and I will send you the link when I launch it. I haven't even launched the pre-sale yet. Um, also, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Grab a songbook on Amazon, leave us five star ratings, that helps us. And if you want to donate today at worshipthekingcom slash partner, you can help this ministry as we expand and grow and give you even more resources. Hey, there are a lot of resources out there. I've never seen a time in history uh, ever in my life where you could just type in anything on YouTube and find it, okay? So we're part of that movement, but Worship the King, we are doing very specific content. We really appreciate your partnership. Thank you for everybody who partners with us and who has been uh, here with us on the channel. God bless you guys. I will see you probably later today. Right now, I've got to deal with gymnastics. Not my gymnastics. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't get, don't freak out. My son's gymnastics.